Hey everyone, Coach Johnston here with another activity I want you to give a shot at home called indoor bocce ball. If you haven't stretched and warmed up yet, press pause, go stretch, get loose, and get ready to play. Come back and press play to join us. Okay, indoor bocce ball is just a modified version of bocce ball. You may have seen bocce ball before out at the beach or at the park. Um, a lot of people play it in their yard. Um, but there are leagues for bocce ball too, where people play on courts and on teams. But bocce ball is that game where there's a little white ball that's tossed out, and that's the target, and then the teams try to throw their ball closest to the white ball, okay? So how we're gonna play it indoors though is we're gonna change it a little bit. Instead of that little white ball, I'm gonna use an empty water bottle. And instead of the balls that I'm throwing towards the target, I'm going to use pairs of socks. Now you don't have to use those things, you can use other things. But for now, for this demonstration, I'm gonna use a water bottle and socks. So I've got my water bottle and I've got my socks. You're gonna take your target or your water bottle, set it up, and then back up across the room Okay, and find a spot that you're going to toss from. Okay, we're doing underhand tosses, which means we're going to step with our opposite foot or our other foot, go underhand and toss it and try to get it as close to the water bottle as possible. Okay, again, step with the opposite foot, toss and try to get it closest. So my water bottle is here, the black sock is here, and the white sock is here. The black sock won that time. Okay. Back up again and try it again. This time I'm going to try my left hand instead of my right hand, okay? So I'm stepping with the opposite foot, rolling it, okay? Step, toss. Okay, that time the black sock was closest again, so the black sock won again, okay? If you throw it too hard and knock down the bottle, Pick it up and start over. We're trying to get as close as we can without knocking the bottle over, okay? If it touches it, that's fine, as long as the bottle stays straight up for this game. Okay, guys, like I said, you don't have to use a water bottle and socks, okay? You can use an old empty Coke can. You can use an old empty cereal box. You can use a pair of shoes if you want as your target. Something that if it gets hit or knocked over is not going to break or cause a mess. All right, so make sure it's empty, uh, make sure that it's clean, and it's not going to break or damage anything, okay? And if you have some bean bags, socks are good. Um, if you have some soft, squishy, uh, like koosh balls or something, those will work fine too. And some of you may even have a bocce ball set that you can go outside and play with, okay? You can do this by yourself, challenge yourself, see how close you can get but you can also play with someone else. You can play with a family member, mom, dad, grandma, brother, sister. You can play with a friend, a neighbor, as long as your parents are okay with that. Um, but challenge yourself and try to have fun, guys. So maybe you play a round where you use your right hand, play another round where you use your left. Um, maybe you use a long hallway so you can go further with trying to throw it. Um, Maybe you stand behind the couch or stand in a different room and try to throw it through the door and get closest to um, the object. The main thing, guys, is to have fun, but to also be safe and be cautious so you don't break something in your house. So again, use something soft. Use something that if you hit it or knock it down, it's not going to damage anything. Okay? Be safe, have fun, and let me know how it goes.